Hi, Mary Jo Vandell here. It's March. Winter is winding down here in Minnesota. I've had a really nice winter with some wonderful trips up to northern Minnesota. I've spent time on Lake Superior, cross-country skiing and snowshoeing with some friends. I've recently been up to the Boundary Waters where I winter camped and snowshoed and dog sledded. Wonderful inspirations coming from both of those trips. Sleeping under the stars, listening to the wolves howl, watching the moon rise over the frozen lakes. It's so quiet and clean and pristine up in northern Minnesota in the winter. I was very inspired by these, by these winter trips. I have some work that I, pieces that I'm working on in progress, and I have some finished pieces that I've done from all of these trips this past winter, and I'd like to share them with you. This, this piece I've titled Winterscape. This is a completed piece from the trip I did dog sledding in the Boundary Waters. Can you hear the wolves howling? Anyway, it's a frozen lake, obviously, full moon rising over it, stark, peaceful, cold, beautiful, beautiful lake. This is a piece in progress, I've actually started it just this morning. Uh, when I'm doing these small studies, I work rather quickly just to get everything on there. It's kind of a big easel for this little piece, but uh, I'm doing a, a couple little studies for uh, some big paintings that I will produce later. This is a little piece that could be about anywhere in Minnesota. It happens to be up from a beautiful little ski trail called the Corky Nordic, up by two harbors, between Duluth and two harbors. So this piece is actually an accident. I was going to use this for one of my small paintings and reuse the board. There was a painting under, a different painting underneath this one. And I, decided, oh, what the heck, I'm just going to try to re reclaim this picture, and I put a lot of paint on it. I didn't like it. I scraped it off, and something happened. I saw some things, so it's, it was intended to be another winter piece, but this happened. It's always a treat when you're up on Lake Superior to catch the full moon rising up over the water. Absolutely love it. I think it's important to, re for my work and for my inspiration, I really need to remove myself from some of my daily surroundings. I need the, I just need to feel like I'm away and I particularly like, you know, wilderness areas where I'm hiking and not seeing a whole lot of people when I'm in the Boundary Waters, Superior Hiking Trail. Those are the places that truly inspire me. You can uh, find my work currently at Alashi Gallery, downtown Stillwater, Minnesota, at the Art Resources Gallery in International Market Square in Minneapolis. A new gallery that I will be putting my work in is called Waters of Superior, right downtown Duluth, right down by the bridge. I do have a show coming up this summer in Lanesboro at the Lanesboro Center for the Arts. I also have a show coming up later in the fall at the Phipps Center for the Arts in Hudson, Wisconsin. I'll be down at Alashi Gallery this Friday, March 11th, from, a, from 5 o'clock till 9 o'clock. Uh, I have a good selection of work down there. Some of it is from previous trips, some of the summer trips, fall trips, and I'll be bringing a few of my new pieces from this winter down there as well. Scott Zarin, who is owner of the gallery, has a great selection of art uh, that you won't find in any other galleries in the Twin Cities. Pretty unique stuff. Worth coming down to see. Uh, again, that's Friday, March 11th. I'll be there from 5 to 9. Hope you can come on down and let's chat. I'm going to be doing more of these video clips in an attempt to keep you updated on new pieces that I'm working on and some of the trips that I'm taking to inspire the new work. I really appreciate you taking the time to view this. Thank you.